Trends Going Out in 2023. Trends come and go, that's just the way it is. Not everyone will love the new trends, not everyone will agree with the new ways to decorate your home. Even professional interior designers like me will have opinions about what's trending. But what I love, design never stays the same. Design is always changing. Even ideas that are classic can evolve in small ways to make them more current. If you want to see the new trends that I'm seeing in the industry for 2023, make sure to check out this video. There are some exciting new styles and ideas that you'll find in all the home stores and design blogs out there. Or if you're old like me, design magazines. Does anybody read those anymore? But this video is all about what's on its way out. And some of these things might be controversial. In fact, there are a couple that I'm not so sure I agree with but several of these ideas are on their way out because they've been oversaturated in the industry for a while, and they're just not what we're wanting at this time. Design is always about change. That means design needs to change because we all evolve and want different things. Remember, interior design is about place making. It's not about the finishes on the walls, the latest paint color, or the style of the furniture. It's really about making spaces that fit each of our needs and wants. So of course, that's going to change over time. In this video, I'm going to give you some ways on how to evolve some of these old trends so that you can still enjoy them today, but you can start to transition away from that look and adapt it towards the newer trend. Let's face it, the fun part of design is adapting new ideas to your own style and home. It is for me, and I'm lucky enough to do this for a living. So don't throw anything out based on this video. Don't complain that us designers are always forcing you into making unreasonable and expensive changes to your home. It's all about transition and evolution over time. Here are the trends that are on their way out in 2023. All white kitchens are on their way out. I know they've been around for years and there are so many all white kitchens out there. Some of them are actually really quite beautiful. The all white kitchen was a response to the all wood kitchens we saw in the 80s where kitchens had lots of moldings and were quite dark. The all white kitchen was all about clean lines, smooth and minimal texture and a very strict modern look. White walls, white trim, white cabinets, white counters, white backsplash, everything white, which isn't easy to do. There are so many white colors to choose from. And in fact, these images are showing you exceptional white kitchens. They look pristine. But these days we're wanting something less pristine. We're wanting a warmer look for our kitchens. We don't want it to be sterile and stark. We're wanting kitchens to truly reflect our lifestyle and the fact that kitchens are the heart of the home. So the style and design of the kitchen is much more open to color and texture and personality, and it really does set the design tone for the rest of the house. So yes, kitchens will have more color and a variety of materials and textures, which is not what the all white kitchen is about. If you do have an all white kitchen, then the easiest thing to change would be the wall colors. It's easy to add a warmer tone to your walls by just painting the walls a warm neutral paint color like white down from Benjamin Moore or natural linen from Sherwin Williams. You could also introduce wood elements into your kitchen like wooden stools at your island or wooden accessories. Wood is making a huge comeback. It has been for a few years, but it's usually mixed with other painted finishes. And instead of changing all of your cabinetry right away, you could just update your backsplash to warm things up or have your existing cabinetry sprayed a new paint color. Some white elements in a kitchen will always look great, like a white countertop or white backsplash tiles. So it's easy to extend the life of your all white kitchen as the trends change. Caned furniture. Last year in my new trends video for 2022, I'll link it below as well, caning was a huge trend. It was everywhere. Caning was showing up on all sorts of furniture pieces and designs and in all different kinds of applications. It was on cabinet doors. It was on seating. Lighting got the caned treatment and even plant pots were treated with this textural detail. So I can see how a trend that just goes too far and is everywhere 
can get tiresome really quickly. And that's sort of what's happened with caning. So when you hear a designer like me say that caned furniture is out, I don't want you to throw away your caned pieces. And I will never say that caned furniture is out. You won't hear me say that, just to be clear. I love caned furniture. I especially love a beautifully caned chair, for instance. This piece is classic. You might have to update the fabric every 10 years, but honestly, there is nothing wrong with this caned piece of furniture. The trick is that caning is a special feature and you need to limit it to one or two key pieces of furniture in your room so that it really stands out like the special feature that it is. When you have a room full of caned pieces of furniture and accessories, which is what that trend was all about last year, then it loses its special qualities. That's the trend that's on its way out. Having caned pieces everywhere has become one of those trends that's looking a little tired and overdone. I love these dining room chairs. They're light in appearance and they add so much texture to the room. But if you also have a sideboard with caning details like this one, then it just feels like too much of the same texture. So if you have one special cabinet with caned inserts in the doors like this one, it's beautiful. And I love the contrast between the light colored caning and the dark stain. Keep that as a very special piece in the room. That's totally fine. But if you have multiple pieces in the same room, the best thing to do is move them into separate rooms. That's why I think a caned chair is such a great investment. It will always look special in a room and can be moved from one room to another very easily. Like this bench, it's stunning because it's the only caned piece in the room. It's a special feature. I have a video about must have pieces of furniture and a bench with no back is one of those pieces. I love that this one is caned. This will live in your home for years to come. It will never go out of style. So again, when trends fall out of favor, it doesn't mean you have to get rid of that trend altogether. It may just mean that you can use that trend in a different way. Caning is a classic detail on furniture. So if you've got a piece that you love, enjoy it and hold it in a special place in your home. Just maybe get rid of the caned flower pot. Oh, and just a side note, just as caning was a big deal last year, this year the new detail that you're going to see everywhere is reeded furniture. So beware, don't buy multiple pieces of furniture with reading for one room. Reeded details are beautiful, so keep them special by limiting the number of items in your room with that particular detail. Number three on my list, minimalism is such a big topic in today's world, and there is so much value to the concept when you think about the benefits of less is more and all the positive environmental impacts when we truly buy and use only what we truly need. But in interior design, this extreme minimalist look is on its way out. By minimalist, I mean ultra sparse spaces with very little detail and decoration. This look is heavily curated and usually quite modern. It came from the trends of Japandi and Scandinavian ideals, and it was all about minimal texture, minimal color, and minimal detail. So while the idea behind it is great, I love less is more, it's perhaps not a style that will suit most people. Many of us like our things. We like our stuff. And we want to be surrounded with our things because they bring us joy or a sense of comfort. So this cold, impersonal look is giving way to a more personalized look. We want more character and charm. This is especially true in kitchens. Even a modern streamlined kitchen will have warmer finishes, less pristine materials, and more character and personality. Living rooms will have special pieces of furniture, like these cane chairs. See what I did there? Mixing styles of furniture is key. Mixing artwork and architectural detail is something you'll see moving forward. So this one minimalistic look all throughout your home is on its way out. There's no reason you can't have some of that furniture in your home, but it will most likely be mixed with other styles that have more decorative details and more pattern and more color. We're moving away from strict minimalism to a more nurturing space. Hey, do you need personalized interior design advice? I offer up 30 minute design video consultations and I've helped so many people with their own design questions and their own homes. If you're about to embark on a home renovation, all you need to do is head over to my Patreon page for all the details. 
Plus, are you enjoying this video? Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for helping me grow this channel. And finally, color palettes are definitely changing. Gray color palettes specifically are on their way out. And not that we don't want gray, gray can be beautiful. Think of gray cashmere. But it's the cool gray palettes that just feel a bit too cold and impersonal. They're feeling a little bit bland these days. They're looking a little flat and unimaginative. This is especially true in bathrooms. Gray has been a standard for years, but this new warmer palette is taking over this space. A space with so many hard surfaces, we're wanting it to feel softer and warmer. A warmer color palette has been on the rise for a few years, but it's really changing now. We want our spaces to reflect our personalities a lot more than wanting it to reflect a particular style or a brand name store, for instance. Many of us want more color in our homes. We want rooms with warm creams and beige and warm colors like orange and brown. Because gray tends to be neutral, it's easy to move towards a warmer neutral palette because when I say we want more color, I mean subtle muted colors, which are actually quite easy to incorporate into your gray rooms. Just adding a warmer accent wall or a few warmer pieces into your gray interior will set you on the path towards warming up the interior design of your rooms. Adding and layering texture and natural materials will also add warmth to the room. And even in your gray kitchen, adding warm woods, basket weaves, and greenery will warm things up easily in the short term. So here's your takeaway. Sometimes when we say something is no longer trendy, it does not mean you have to eliminate it from your homes. Sometimes it just means the way you use that trend may be slightly different. Or maybe you need less of it. Or maybe you just don't pay attention to me at all. From all white kitchens, caned furniture, minimalist spaces, and gray palettes, we can all agree there's still value in any of these choices, but how we adapt these ideas in a different way of thinking is the fun part of design. Design is always changing and it takes time for that change to happen. You can adapt and evolve with the trends quite easily by just buying what you love and curating your home to reflect you and your personality. Trust me, that never goes out of style. It's always fun to look back on past year's trends. I've got several videos highlighting trends in interior design. So be sure to check back in with those videos. I'll link them all below, including the latest trends in 2023. Also head to my Patreon page. I've got lots of tiers, including one where you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one video consultation with me. My patrons and I have tackled so many projects this past year from all over the world. In fact, I had calls from the UK, from India, and from Eastern Europe along with many calls from the US and Canada. So if you feel like you need some advice, head to my Patreon page and a big shout out to my patrons. Thanks for watching this little design tip. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss the next video. Leave a comment and let me know if you love trends or do they freak you out just a little. I'm intrigued. If you like this video, please hit that like button. It helps to grow the channel. See you soon.